Uh, I live with my mom. She's a really caring woman. <laughs> She's, I love her. I yeah. love her a lot. <laughs> She's my mom. I've lived with her the longest time. I'm still living with her. The person I'm living with is my grandmother, Nancy. I've been living with my dad for like a couple of years or something. My dad, he's, he's like pretty awesome. He's very protective over me. He's home like 24-7 because he can't work right now because he's getting disability in his back. Well, because he works two jobs now, I see my dad when I wake up. I wake up at 7, and then I'll see him, and then I see him at lunch. And then that's about it. My dad lives in Pennsylvania. Um, he... I don't see him that much. Um, it is hard not knowing that he won't be there for you. But um, the, I got a phone so I can call him. I call him mostly every day. Me, mine and his relationship is actually kind of like it's there, it's not there. We, there, I, there was a time in my life where I lived with him, but it ended up not working out. It got to the point where it got pretty violent and then ended up having to switch homes. <laughs> My mom and dad got busted for possession, dealing, making, and doing drugs. My mom decided to give me to my grandmother. My mom lives at uh, Sylvia. I see her about every other weekend. It's hard. It's kind of, it's pretty hard that I can't see her very much. My mom, I don't really see her much because she works graveyard from 11 to 7. It's hard because she's, like, when she's home, she's always sleeping and the only time I can see her is one or two hours before she goes to work. My mom chose drugs over me. It's true. City when they got arrested when I was like three. Mom, um, I don't really see her much. It's pretty hard that I can't see her very much. With my mom having her drug issues and things like that, now 13 of us kids do not live in the same house. Throughout the scriptures, God commands us to care for the orphan. We have students in Pratt and Kiowa who in a very real sense are orphaned. They may have one parent or caregiver, but at least one parent is absent for various reasons. This creates a huge gap in their lives. They need us. They need us to stand with them. They need us to show them Christ. They need us to bridge the gap. That's what we are doing at Youth for Christ. Just uh, some of the men, some of the leaders helped me a lot with trying to get off drugs and everything like that. Youth for Christ is like the family to me. Like, I can tell them anything. The staff that volunteer here and stuff really care. Oh. I used to do really bad things, but thanks to Youth for Christ, um, I don't do those things anymore. YFC makes me feel closer to God. And that's good.
because I wasn't that close to him before I started going with him. My mentor is Zania, she's my best friend. I love my mentor, Jewel. I love my mentor, Kathy. Me and my mentor, Jewel, have been meeting for over two years now. I've been going to church with her a lot, like even when she's out of state visiting her children, um, I continue going to church. Jewel's always been there for me. Jewel has affected my walk with God by helping me understand Him more. When I feel like I have no one there, she's there. Not being able to see my mom really caused some pain, but Jewel has been able to fulfill that gap. She is like my mom. Amazing. Andia has helped me get closer to God. Without a doubt. I used to have no one, but thanks to Youth for Christ, now I do.